Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're back over on the YouTube account and we are doing a much requested video, guys, which kind of breaking down the merchant. Now, if you're a free-to-play player, unfortunately, you don't have access to the merchant because you're not putting into anything into AFK Arena. But going from a small dolphin to a giga whale, guys, we're gonna run through a couple of things, starting with this limited offer. Now, this actually pops up all the time. You can see we finished off the dismal maze. The offer pops up. This offer used to be one specific price, kind of random on what you would get. Now they've given you the opportunity to actually choose your own price. So depending if you want a small dolphin at 25, if you want to go whale at 99, and there are usually always multiple ones of these up. You can see every week we had 100 activity points. Pretty much anything you do in AFK Arena is going to trigger the limited offer. Limited offer, I would stay away from. I do not recommend it unless you're a whale. Go ahead and buy whatever you want because if you're a whale, what does it really matter? Getting into the merchants. Now, every now and then with some heroes, we will see this pack. Now, the way this pack actually works is when you buy purchases down here, they give you a discount on the top bundle up to 50% off, which actually makes this copy of Damia 50% um, off. So it would be $50 for this copy versus $100 when you first start. Now overall, the price for a hero like this is $50 for a Celestial or Hypogen, where the Awakened heroes usually run about 100. But if you look at here, you, you have to pay very close attention to the deals and what you're getting out of the deals. Now, I already purchased the Stargazer Scrolls out of here when we did our live stream. I also did purchase the, um, the time emblems out of here because they were super cheap it was 15 for the stargazer cards which i believe there were 40 and the time emblems there were 40 as well if i remember correctly those were the builds now looking at the rest of the things in here guys now funny enough looking in here you can get a copy of demia for that is right guys 50 dollars if you're buying this pack full price it's a hundred dollars so you can essentially get this pack pay double what you normally would to get a copy of the hero even though you do get a little less diamonds, not really worth getting the bundles unless you're gonna buy this pack as well as the other bundles to build out this hero. Now again, looking at some of these builds, we get one for $29, you get two for 100. Now I know again, the diamond variance in here is a little bit, you get a couple more baits, but essentially if you spend 60 bucks, you'd get both of your, um, both of your secret spices right here, Plus you get 600 of your baits, which of course you're losing 200 baits, but you're saving roughly, what is that, 40 bucks? Because if you get 60 to 100, you're saving 40 bucks by buying two of these limited bundles versus going in and buying the actual most expensive bundle. So what we've realized is through the years, guys, AFK Arena, the more expensive bundles usually are not worth it. And I don't know why they don't give them um, you know, a little bit more incentive, I guess, to buy the lower bundles. But again, if you're spending, you figure you're getting 4,000 diamonds, two of your secret spice, you're getting 600 of these for 60 bucks. Here, you're getting 200 more of your baits for, again, another $40. And the, oh yeah, that's right. These are the two we bought. $14.99 for the 40 cards and then $19.99 for those 40 time emblems. This is a mega, mega, mega good deal, guys. When you look at the cost, so $14.99, even coming back to our limited offers at 24, you only get 18 cards for 24 bucks. That is right, guys. I spent 14.99, got 40 cards. 20, um, the 24.99 actually got us 40 of the time emblem cards. So again, this is why I have said the limited offers are not really worth it. Now, when you look at the event deals, um, a lot of players will buy the dollar one, buy the five dollar one. Overall, guys, again, this is not really worth it in my opinion. The only time it is in the way that they built this in is if you're buying out the battle experience and then you go into the actual event, you get double kind of out of there. So we did buy within the Lost Signals. I bought this 5X, you can see. But when you look at the total amount of points you get, if you're not buying additional bundles out of here, it actually stops relatively short right there at 4,800 points. These are all purchases, guys. That is right. Once you have this, if you're looking to get any more of this EXP, you have a long, 
long, long way to go. Now, in addition, you will get um, some more of the emblems that you can actually choose. So you get loot out of the emblems. You also get loot out of that Road to Glory, which again, it is kind of crazy. I didn't go that much. I just bought the Road to Glory because it did give me a couple more cards. But if you're looking to maximize the Road of Glory, again, this is where you would do it, guys. But even looking at the experience, so here is 2,600 experience for $100. That is right, guys, $100 for 2,600 experience. So add that in, what is that, four, five, six, 74? So we would be at 74 if we bought a $100 bundle, which would take us from our 48 to roughly right here, guys. So we'd pick up a, a couple more packs in here. So this pack, honestly, probably wasn't worth it because I'm not wailing out to actually pick up the rest of the loot. That is at the 5X. Um, when it comes to buying it out or building it out. Now, in addition, guys, they have coupled purchases with the temporal feedback. So if you're getting a couple purchases, um, the temporal feedback does give you bonus. And then on top of that, when you do the purchases, incentivize this um, melodic gifts, they do give you cards out of here or you do get essentially these records out of here. With purchases, they give you the, the little notes out of Pretty much anything in here short of a couple different emblems. Um, so if you buy a pack in here, you do get these as well, guys, that the note issue six, which will give you more. So not only are you getting your sigils out of here, you're getting the bonus loot out of the sigils. You are also getting these notes, which you can use in the wishing ship in here to actually draw more out. So again, they're incentivizing a crazy amount in here. Now the Apex packs, the Climber Packs, the um, Alpinus Packs, um, they have a lot of different names for this pack. This is one of the absolute best purchases within AFK Arena. For 20 bucks, you get 45K diamonds. Even when you look at other places like this, um, when you look at the cost of actually buying diamonds itself, which I'm not even sure where you buy the actual diamonds um, anymore, but if you're buying, there we go, diamond deals. If you're buying the actual diamonds right here, it is what, 32 plus 32. So for 50 bucks, you get 6,000 diamonds. For 50 bucks, you get 6,000 diamonds. Here you get 45K. That is right, guys, 45,000 diamonds for 20 bucks. Um, 30 times the amount. That is why these purchases within here for these, these packs, the 45K diamond pack is a good deal. Now, Wishing Ship. This, in my opinion, guys, is whale territory only. You can see in here, guys, you do get 30 cards for 24. Over on this, we actually got 40 cards for 15 bucks. So again, this is kind of the whale ter territory because with these wish tokens, it is a little bit of an RNG factor on what loot you're actually gonna get out of this chest. Um, again, I, I know there is a really big RNG factor. Could pay off if you get it. But again, this is how the whales have actually been buying on um, baits. So this is where the, the baits have been purchased. If you look at all of these players that have very, very, very high level pets, this is where Yuri's Bundle that they have been buying them out. And then of course, guys, buying out Yuri's Bundle are going to give you more within here um, to build out. Now, Merchant Ship. This is another place, guys, that I feel the bundles are not worth it. The specials, the daily deals, the bi-weeklies, they are not really worth it. Even if you look at the heroes that we have in here, when you look at one regular hero, so one of the primary four faction heroes, guys, it is still 50 bucks, not worth it. Adventure Privilege, now the VIP ones, you can see we've bought in almost all of them out. These again are probably one of your absolute best paying for your buck. There's actually a limit one-time purchase on a lot of these, um, again, that we bought. They have the Stargazer cards, they have the Time Emblems out of here that we have actually purchased through the years. This is a very, very, very good purchase in here because I believe it gives you time emblems and it does also give you, um, you get the time emblems and you get the Stargazer Scrolls. Very, very strong way to build them up. Um, to, to overall, again, well worth that pack in there. Now the advanced ship, this one again, this is kind of whale ter ter territory. If you're looking again, one copy plus 80 cards is $99. So you're gonna get another copy. You possibly could get two copies um, because you still do have another pull right here with the diamonds. So again, looking at the cost, you have to put it in relationship to what you're getting where you can buy a copy of Demia for 50 
um, or you could get two copies out of here, possibly three copies um, for 99. So again, paying attention to really what you're buying. Now, when it comes to resource packs such as this, I never, ever, ever buy the resource packs, guys. The resource packs are just going to allow you to build the heroes a lot faster. Um, I would rather have the heroes. I would rather buy out the heroes. And you'll see guys, even when we built the Awakened version of Athelia, we purchased 35 cards out of here to actually finish her to the Awakened. But when it comes to the actual resources to build out the heroes, I never build them. I never buy the resources because eventually you're gonna get them built out. If you're in a race to build them again, whale ter territory, you can go ahead and build them out. And then of course we have the beasts within here. The beasts are running almost the same price, if not a little bit higher, for one single copy of a beast. You can see $50 for one copy of a beast. This possibly could get you a second copy. Then of course, it kind of sucks because the diamonds you can't use. I wish they would drop the diamonds out of here and just actually throw in more baits to actually build them out. Now monthly cards. This in my opinion, guys, are the one of the absolute short of probably the Alpinus pack. This is huge. If you wanna talk about being able to build out heroes much faster, guys, it is right here. This doubles the time emblems that you get in a day, so you get one from the shop, you get one from the deluxe monthly card, plus you get your choice in here, guys. You can get some red chests, you can get some baits, plus you get engraving mats out of here, which again is just absolutely huge, guys. The deluxe monthly card, I know it does take 30 days to actually get the value of the 57,000, I guess, equivalent diamonds, um, but this is probably one of the absolute best because you do get that time emblem. I get both of these, the total of both is 20. And then of course, this is gonna give you another red chest, but this also gives you your elemental shards. So like I was saying earlier, when you're building out the heroes, this is going to be a huge opportunity. Now the subscription card, I like it for 2.99 because of these two right here. The guild coins, so I can make sure I get all my gear, labyrinth tokens, so I can make sure now, especially because the labyrinth tokens are such in high demand with the addition of the chapter 30 rewards that they're putting in there. And I can also use a couple different places. I get an extra bounty quest, which is good. You get a couple more util utilization of the mercenaries. For $2.99, again, I would pick it up. Now, like we talked about, when it comes to building out heroes, guys, this one is huge. Now looking here, we get our common loot, which of course is the free to play aspect. The first tier of the premium pass lets us choose what we're actually gonna build in the second tier, and I believe it is $24.99. You can spend another 20 in there to get this third tier, guys. So when you think about big picture building out heroes in here, we have the cores, we have the red chest. In this one, we have the poke coins, we have the baits you can actually switch this to the elemental shards. So again, we can have every single tool we need to build out every single hero. We have an AFK arena between the Champions of Espria, the Twisted Bounty. Now the Regal Rewards, a lot of players say it's a pretty good buy. When you get to the point of having a majority of heroes built in AFK arena, I do not buy this and I do not recommend buying this at all. 90% of the time, if not higher, I just get duplicate heroes. Um, out of this, even getting these stones for a possible shot and awaken hero. Most of the time, again, it just falls right into the duplicate hero. But again, if you're earlier game, if you're looking to put a little bit of money, um, this is going to allow you to catapult your heroes that you're getting, the amount of copies that you're getting of these heroes out of the Regal Rewards. Then, of course, the wardrobe, guys, I don't buy any skins. If it is resources versus skins, I 110% always buy the resources, guys. I, I will never buy the skins, even when it comes to Lucretia. When it comes to the skins that actually costed money, um, I do not buy the skins. Now, in addition to all of this, guys, there are a lot of different packs that pop up different places all over in AFK Arena. Um, you'll just see them randomly in different places where you can pick up different packs. I know some of these, I believe, did have packs um, there, there are, again, a lot of different places, even like when you're in, your, in the Abyssal Expedition. A um, couple places even um, that just pop up with random packs. But you really have to look at what the value is within the shop, what you're getting for the packs that you're actually buying out of there. Stay away from the limited offers, guys. It is really not worth it. 
But all right, guys, that'll do it for the merchants. There's a ton in there as of right now, guys. It's kind of crazy to see how much they've actually grown that out. But overall, guys, remember, AFK is a for-profit game. It is not a free-to-play um, game. So if you're putting something into AFK Arena, really go in there and budget it. If you got questions about budgeting, guys, check out my financial channel, um, Furry Hippo Finance. I've been doing it for a while now. Channel is growing like crazy, almost to 300 subs. But overall, guys, if you're putting anything into AFK Arena, guys, never, ever, ever spend more than you can afford. If you're staying free to play, stay absolutely free to play. Um, if you're a, a player that does put a little bit into AFK Arena, I hope it was some clarification to what to get in the merchant store. Again, I know a lot of players have been requesting me to go through here. So guys, that'll do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.